Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I promise to update daily and if you like this watch, you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing what might be my favorite Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean. It's the Omega Seamaster Professional Planet Ocean 600 meter in 39.5 millimeter stainless steel case. This was part of the refreshed Planet Ocean class that bowed at Basel 2016. There were a couple of new sizes available and I have to admit this watch runs counter to the joke that there are two sizes of Planet Ocean, big and bigger. 39.5 makes absolute sense and in a rare instance of the Planet Ocean aligning more or less perfectly with Rolex sizing, you can consider this to be a direct rival not just to the Submariner, but to the old Sea Dweller 40s. This is a wonderful watch. Stainless steel and 39.5 millimeters across the round of the case. That doesn't include the Crown Guard Profile Crown or Helium Escape Valve. The watch isn't particularly thick either. 14.4 is far girthier than a Submariner, but by Planet Ocean standards, that's practically an ultra thin. Lug to lug, it's an easy watch to wear. 45.1 millimeters across the wrist means I can recommend this Planet Ocean for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. You'll also find if you wish to accessorize and perhaps not dive with this hybrid leather rubber strap that the lug spacing is 19 millimeters. You'll find a bevy of OEM and aftermarket options. The watch does have a wonderful strap because although it does close the gap to the flank of the case and thus create a highly integrated aesthetic with no daylight between strap and case, it exits straight down out of the lugs so it doesn't flare out and fight your wrist, it just moves straight down around your wrist. Working with a smaller forearm, this one sits and looks right on a smaller wrist. The strap is nicely made, a contrasting white stitch, large rectangular scale matte finish navy blue alligator leather on the top. On the underside, natural vulcanized rubber to separate the leather from the oils and heat of the skin. You'll also note the clasp itself is well made and substantial with some clever features. Twin trigger release for security. This one can't accidentally pop open. This one's in excellent condition as you can see. It also features a minderless system so you can tuck the excess strap length underneath the clasp and once it's sized down there are no minder loops on the exterior nor is there any strap length flapping in the breeze. The case form is familiar. Helium escape valve, that's there for you saturation divers. For everyone else it's an excess of luxury and a conversation starter. Satin finished cheer flanks, polished bevels. You'll note that the crown doesn't have crown guards so much as it's simply recessed into the band of the case as an impact and a sheer guard structure. Nice integration of design, engineering and art serving as one. Now moving a little bit closer you can see a number of elements that are holdovers from previous generations of the Planet Ocean. Most notably the ceramic bezel with the liquid metal inserts. The bezel action is excellent. It sounds and feels great. Just as a bad dive bezel can break a dive watch, a good one can make a dive watch. Consider this one made. The ceramic is highly scratch resistant and you can line up the luminescent pearl with the broad arrow minute hand and now you've got an impromptu 0 to 60 minute timer that I find more intuitive and legible than most chronographs. The dial itself features a blue ceramic base. You can just see the zirconium oxide symbol below the cannon pinion in the hands. It is a ceramic dial with white gold appliques and white gold hands. The Planet Ocean is the flagship of the Seamaster family so like the dark side of the moon and its ilk it gets white gold hands and appliques as well as Omega logo and marquee. Now you do have a quick set date but you don't have the time zone jumping feature because this smaller Planet Ocean, the kinder and gentler Planet Ocean in 39.5 gives you a conventional quick set and hacking or stop seconds but you do get the Meta's master chronometer cert which is COSC+. Now the movement on the back as you can see is a bit distinct from the caliber 8900. This is the 8800. What are the differences? Well, you don't have the time zone independent hour hand for setting the watch, and rather than two mainspring barrels, you have one large mainspring barrel, with the distinction being the 8900 and its twin barrels is a 60 hour movement. This is a 50 hour movement, so you'll find 50 to 55 hours of power reserve, still solidly more than the industry standard of 38 to 42 in an automatic movement. You get the hacking seconds function, you get the quick set date, you get a full balance bridge with a free sprung index for shock resistance, and you get a silicon hairspring for anti-magnetism. It beats away at the quirky coaxial beat rate of 25,200 vibrations per hour, and if you look at the the rotor bearing at center you'll note unlubricated high efficiency ceramic rotor bearing balls so this is a high tech movement with 
materials innovation about the hairspring as well as the rotor bearing itself. Both features helping to increase the resistances of the watch. The silicon to magnetism, the ceramic bearings to shortened maintenance intervals. 600 meters water resistant with a screw down crown and the helium escape valve. This one has plenty of hermeticity. It's a Planet Ocean full fledged in terms of its technical capabilities. Anywhere you'd go with the big watch, you can go with the little one. This is a timepiece that is viable on a smaller wrist, and I have to tell you that with a smaller wrist, I think I've found my soulmate. This is the Planet Ocean for me. 39.5 millimeters. I would say that if you've ever had reservations about the size of the Planet Ocean, perhaps aiming for a Aquaterra or a Seamaster 300 diver, reconsider. The 39.5 is that good. See it and decide for yourself on the watch box. As you can see, the mid-sized Planet Ocean is big and bright by night. Differential loom on the bezel as well as the minute hand makes it easy to line up for dive duty or simply timing when the lights go out. You'll also note fully luminescent seconds hand. That should be universal on dive watches, but for some reason it's not. See this one by the light of day on the watch box.